So right now, Thomas Almeida and Cody Garbrandt both undefeated, both 24 years old. Garbrandt one inch taller. Almeida weighed in at 136 pounds, 135 and a hook for Garbrandt. A four and a half inch reach advantage for the favorite tonight, Thomas Almeida. And now to get us the official introductions for the main event, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Anthony Marnell, Executive Director Bob Bennett, Commissioners Francisco Aguilar, Skip Avancino, Pat Lumbaugh, and Michonne Martin. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Sally Amato, Chris Lee, and Glenn Trowbridge. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, John McCarthy. For those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, live from Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter holding an undefeated professional record. Eight wins, no losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Cody No Love Goddamn! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding an undefeated professional record. 21 wins, no losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the number seven ranked bantamweight contender in the world, Tomas Tamihas Almeida. Tell him that over the rules, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight clean, but fight hard. Want to touch gloves, touch them now? Good luck to both of you. Cody Garbrandt, not the glove touching type. No issue with Thomas Almeida. This as anticipated as any UFC main event thus far in 2016. Cody Garbrandt and Thomas Almeida both coming in undefeated, both with legitimate championship aspirations. Only one man figures right, to ready? leave Las Vegas ready? still in that mix. Yeah. Thomas Almeida in the black trunks, Cody Garbrandt in the white. Well, Cody owns the wrestling advantage, keeps that in his back pocket as he loves to strike and believes he's got more power, but that five inch reach advantage is a lot in this weight class. He's got to rely on that footwork, fakes and feints to get inside and use his boxing. He gets Thomas Almeida. Almeida exercising some patience here in the early going, keeping the hands high. And typically we see Almeida with a little more footwork, but now he's looking to counter. He always starts a little slow in the early minutes. He tries to gauge the timing of his opponent. Garbrandt backs Almeida up with the one-two. Flying knee attempt misses, the follow-up right hand does it. And there you see the hand speed, the quickness of Cody Garbrandt. Now we're seeing some more angles of movement out of Thomas Almeida. Or a big right hand there from Cody. Good start early for the American Garbrandt. Almeida said he didn't train anything specific for Cody, he didn't change anything up. Felt like all of his skills are there for the taking and he could beat Cody anywhere. And not surprising, he usually has to get hit a couple times before he gets warmed up. Cody happy to oblige. Garbrandt acknowledged the skills of Almeida but said he can't wait to derail his height. So Cody's doing a really nice job, not trying to sit down too hard on these punches. He's being quick, looking for volume. Right hand lands flush for Almeida. Not seeing the typical combinations from Thomas Almeida or the forward pressure. When I watch the tape on Cody, he's very tough when he's going forward. However, where I've seen some flaws is when guys can back him up and they force Cody to fight backing up. 
He's not as polished there. And he landed a big left hook on Mims. Hurt. Garbrandt lands him on the left hand. An early opening for Nolo. Another one-two for Cody. And Cody's confidence is through the roof right now. Almeida staying right in that pocket. Exactly what we expected here. Furious pace as we cross the midpoint of round one. And now Cody doing a nice job. See him backing up and keeping his feet planted. That's a better job of Cody backing up. Lance, another left hook as Almeida whips on the right kick. And Almeida's getting diced up right now. Oh, huge right hand! Knockouts! How about it? Undefeated no more. Cody goes to 9-0. What a moment for the Ohio native. He was crisp. He was sharp. He got inside and tipped away the reach advantage, and that right hand found its home over and over again. He said he had a power advantage, and he showed off with it. He continually stunned Almeida and really stopped the offense. Almeida was getting hurt and never was really able to rip the combinations we've seen. Cody Garbrandt said this fight, this style, would bring out the best in him, and he was absolutely right. This is the best Cody Garbrandt we've seen to date. Fantastic performance. And Garbrandt, ever the sportsman, went over to try to acknowledge Thomas Almeida. The official decision coming up next. Don't miss a complete wrap-up of all the action from Vegas on our post-fight show coming up next on FS1 or watch it live on Fox Sports Go. Here one final time, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Cody Nolan Super!
superstar is born in Las Vegas tonight, Cody No Love Garbrandt, 9 and 0. Congratulations, man, on the biggest win of your career. You called your shot, got him out of there with the first round KO. Yes, first of all, I also want to thank the Lord for getting here, giving me the courage, you know, to chase down this dream since I was a kid. Uh, Thomas has off the shooter box and those guys, some tough son of the guns, and uh, they came here from out Brazil on Memorial Day weekend, and uh, I delivered. Thomas Almeida came in here 21 0. I know you have a lot of respect for what he had accomplished coming in here tonight, but man, you found the range early. The power shots were there, all confidence right out of the shoot. Yeah, like I said, first and foremost, I have the utmost respect for Thomas Almeida. 21 0, you don't get that good, you know. Um, you know, we, we, we shit talk, and he kept calm in there. Uh, he's a very he's gonna be a future champion as well, so I'm looking forward for future fights with him. Uh, but hey, can I get some respect now? I wasn't even ranked in the top 15. First round knockout, undefeated guy. Give me some credit. No doubt you're coming to those rankings. Might even be in the top five by the end of the week. I want to take a look at the finish and how you set it up. Talk us through it if you don't mind. Man, I really don't have a game plan there. I'm just kind of throwing. I know that I hit. I'm the hardest hitter. I'm the hardest hitter in the division. I'll knock anybody out in my division. Dominic Cruz, whoever. I'm going to be the champion. Radix Maple's right over here. And I told him I was going to give him the belt years ago. So my goal is to quit bring the world champion back to the 9 2 2. You wanted the tough fights. You got one here tonight. How do you put this moment into perspective just a couple minutes after getting him out of here? You know what? I want to thank my uh, coaches, all my coaches from Team Alpha Male, my teammates. You know, I couldn't do it without them. Uh, they got me prepared mentally and physically. It was a rough uh, camp, you know. Uh, so I came out here and just had to, when the, like I said, when the, the lights are shining, that's when I'm the best. You know, put, put whoever in front of me, I'm going to knock them out. Honor to watch you perform all class two to Thomas after the fight. I want to thank all the men and women in our armed forces for serving and, and protecting our beloved country. This one's for you guys. Folks, we got a star. Let's hear it. Cody Garbrandt. Huge performance for Cody Garbrandt. Huge step up for him to go from fighting a bunch of unranked guys who are talented but not nearly this level. Let's take a look at the Metro PCS move of the fight. No surprise, the combinations of Cody Garbrandt launches the right hand and then when he gets inside, boom, big power. The quickness, he has elite level quickness that make up for his lack of reach, excellent footwork. He is still not even scratching the total surface. This man has massive athleticism. He's only going to continue to get better and better. Showed a marked improvement tonight. His ability to fight backwards. He said Thomas will made to bring out the best in him. He delivered on his biggest stage yet in the main event. Absolutely fearless. There is a new UFC Bantamweight contender. His name is Cody Garbrandt. Was that the best move of the night? Tweet and let us know at hashtag Metro Move. And tune in to the FS1 UFC Fight Night post-fight show for the winning move. All right, that is going to do it for us with that.